it's not rocket science, but it's close to be rocket science. If it is important to be the first in the largest, yes, of course, because we are very proud of that. I think it's uh, one of the major uh, breakthrough. We prove again that uh, thing the impossible is very valuable. So whenever we are not afraid, we try to break the limits and bring something new to the market. This is demonstrating the capability of LM Wind Power engineers and LM team to bring uh, this uh, innovation and, and this kind of product to the industry. But what is the most important is not that we have the largest blade. The most important is that we make blades that are technology proven and that we will produce every day with absolute reliability and quality focus. We are combining the knowledge and experience of LM in design of blades with the knowledge and experience of Aquen in the design of turbines, all combined with the operational experience of turbines of, of Aquen. This is why we obtained the best in class blade in the market. The bigger the turbines get, the more often they will be hit by lightning strikes. So it gets, in that way, it gets more and more important that, that your, your protection is, is tested and can cope with the, these high lightning energies and they can capture lightning and pass them on to Earth in a safe way. We saw the lightning protection on this plate and we actually also have evidence of that because we have used this design earlier uh, from 10 years ago and these uh, plates with that kind of designs are still out in offshore running there and we haven't uh, any damages related to lightning on these plates. Look at this. This is uh, an aluminum sample completely destroyed by rain droplets. This has been done by our simulated weather conditions here in this test center. To overcome this problem that we see here, we have two solutions. One of these solutions is a tape solution which we apply to the leading edge like this. And what we see is that when we test this material, which has been uh, in the industry for many years, it has a lifetime of about five to 10 years, but the design lifetime of a turbine is 20 years. What we've done recently is we've developed a coating material instead like this. And this, uh, when tested in, um, in our rain erosion simulator, we've actually uh, provided a five time improvement compared to the tape solution. The cost of energy depends on many things. And of course, aerodynamics is the key important thing because aerodynamics uh, generates the power on the turbine. So we're really optimizing here between aerodynamic performance and the cost of the blade. So in actual numbers, it means that maybe with the optimization we do here in the wind tunnel, we can gain maybe 1% extra in annual energy production. But for a big rotor or a big turbine, six or eight megawatts, 1% extra in annual energy production is a lot of energy. It makes me feel proud, really proud. It's some of the, the biggest constructions of the world. I cannot think of, uh, of a lot which are so long and so wide that they cannot be transported on a public road without closing the entire road down. It makes me really proud that we can do it and we are actually confident that, that this meets the, the demands from our customers regarding both production time and quality. These posts were also going to be tricky. Yeah, the real challenge is that um, is, is the height of the blade. I think that's the, the, our biggest concern. And we have um, a model blade here. We have transported blades like this before in this position, uh, but that is not possible. This is simply too high. Uh, we cannot transport a blade like this because the, the tip would stick up too far. We can only uh, transport a blade like this where the, the weight of the blade helps us uh, bring the uh, height down.
This is new technology, but of course you can say that when you implement technology every day, it's a daily work. With the current blade, uh, we have the most competitive offering in the offshore industry because we are using the smartest combinations of materials. And we have worked on uh, reducing the levelized cost of energy with our customer to the max. So it is not just a cho an optimized choice for the blade itself, it's also an optimized choice for the combination of the blade and the turbine. Optimization is key when we are designing a turbine in order to lower the cost of energy. Obviously, the blade plays a very important role in the optimization of the input loads to the drivetrain. What we did in Adwen 8 megawatt turbine is selecting a very good operational point to the turbine, and together with the teamwork with LM, we managed to have a very good balance of optimization both in the drivetrain and in the blade. You need to increase the capacity factor. To increase the capacity factor, you need to increase the rotor size. To increase the rotor size, you need to come up with innovation in material aerodynamic design. And this is what LM Wind Power do. This is what LM Wind Power has always been doing since 25 years already in offshore. And uh, has continued to do that with the first landmark uh, in 2006 with the 61.5, then 2011, 73.5, and 2016, 88.4.